My name is Benjamin, but like most rappers, I have a superhero name. So I go by the name Greaves on stage. I was like signing up for battles because I thought that's how you had to do it as a kid. And she goes, what's your name? Benjamin. No, no, no. You need like a moniker, like a, like a stage name. I was thinking about the music. I didn't really care about the name, so. It's like the first thing that really came to my head that I liked, like it stuck, it worked, and then momentum started building. That's my name. Not being one of those artists that's like, I can do so much more. My artistry reaches to different planets. Like, not being that dude, but like, you know, there's other things than just rap, 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 rap. Like, I'm not just a lyricist. Like, I do most of the production. People don't even know that. Like, that's, that's a, it's not something that I ever really talk about. It's not something I boast about. I'm not on stage, like, playing instruments and stuff like that. I just kind of produce the whole thing. Budo got me back on Reason. Like, I started Reason 3 era, I'd say. No, you know what, scratch that. I know exactly when I got back into Reason. It was 2007 and my manager was like, you're quitting your job at this kitchen and you're making music full time. I don't care what you say about it, you're doing it. I was like, okay. Quit my job at the kitchen and spent a lot of time just sitting around the house. Like. I remember how important it was to find time to make music in between the cracks, you know? And then it was like, make music at all times. <laughs> Budo and I were talking about making a record together, or really just talking about making a song together. And so he came over, showed me about Reason, I got Reason, started using that more because of the rewire aspect. It slowly just became, I shouldn't have even really been in Pro Tools. Everything from the drum programming to the bass lines to the melodies, it was all right there for me. So I was just making all my beats in Reason. We made 88 keys and counting, a matter of weeks. Idea, song. Idea, song. The producer that I've worked with on this record that's coming out, his name is B. Lewis, and he uses Reason super old school way. And he has like one mixer for everything and he controls it all in there. I gotta get him a copy of Reason 7. You see this, Brad, this is happening. This is technically our final tech rehearsal for, we're about to go on tour with some buddies of mine called Pepper. Before we get there, we got a couple festival dates, so tomorrow we'll be heading to Portland. <laughs> oh, shit. Ah, that was perfect. I feel like we're always gonna have some kinks until you hit the stage and you are forced to run with it. Tempo-wise, we're a little off. I feel like everything we're supposed to know by tomorrow, we know now. Yeah, so that bridge is where I would like some pretty wonky delays, some some verb. Playing live shows, there's a lot of risk involved for one's ego there. It's not all just like rock star. People don't like you, people will let you know a lot of the time. When I sat down to kind of conceptualize the whole thing, I had to think about what do I want to do with my live set? How am I going to pull it off? I want it to be genuine and I want it to have the character of the music that I've been creating in the studio. I have almost every single sound that I've used in the studio available to me. I have that same exact sound. So I can do all the studio effects that I do right there in Reason, which is badass for me because I'm kind of particular about those things too. Like, I don't want you playing the Mellotron flute. I want you playing the delayed Mellotron flute. And I don't want like a delay pedal. I don't want to like, like that's what I want. So I can get that. If I have a file, it's called Live Show. I went back, digging through the archives and finding everything. And I'm able to take those songs, save the patch, and put them all the way down in the sequencer. 
with song by song by song by song, and we can just next song, next song, next song. This is the first time these guys have really toured with me. It's the first time I've ever toured with Reason, first time I've ever toured in a band situation. So tonight, you're kind of looking at it. Like this is the christening of the ship. So hopefully everything goes right, you know? Yeah, man, this is like the eye of the storm. Like every time, no matter how many of these I've done, it's like, this can go either way. It's been great, it's been really easy too. Relieving too, when you're like, man, how am I gonna make things sound? I know how, bam, and you can just grab the sounds and throw them in. Like a regular guy. Brother, thank you so much. Before I get out of here, I want you guys to give a shout out to my homies at Propellerhead. Everybody say, thank you, Reason. Thank you, Reason. Peace. <laughs>